Hey, I have some good news and I have bad news. Start with the bad news, honey. Is everything okay at work? Well, the bad news is that I have to leave town for two months. Why? Because I'm the new branch manager, my dear. What? Did you get the promotion? And you doubted yourself so much, even though I told you that you were going to make it. I knew you were the perfect person for that job. Do you know what that means? We're going to be moving by the end of the year, and we're getting a new house. I'm so excited! You've worked so hard for this. I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much. It's because I have you to support me and take care of our son, Corey. When do you have to leave? My flight is for 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'll have to set up everything on that side for our move. Yes, but you know you don't have to rush the move. Corey and I can stay here for even six more months while preparing everything. I don't want to have to worry about anything. I'll sort it out. I'm going to leave you with my card. Anything that you and Corey need, you can buy. You don't have to. You know that I work. Yeah, I know, but... You know how Corey's school is. There's always something new that they want. I must go now. I have a meeting with the boss. Uh, see you around 6 p.m. tonight? Are you not going out for drinks with friends so you can celebrate? And leave you alone? I'm actually going to be hanging out with Celine at her house tonight. We're going to watch a marathon of The Bachelor while our sons get to do whatever they want. Then I must get Celine's husband to come with me for a drink. Oh, Gordon? You'll probably not have any luck. He says he hasn't drunk these days ever since he started going to the gym. Oh, so now he's putting pressure on those of us with beer bellies. <laughs> Alright, have fun tonight. Three days later. Hi, how's work going? It's a bit challenging. There's so much work to be done before we get this branch up and running. I trust in your capabilities. Guess who started to work out? You? Why? You're fine the way you are. You have to say that because you're my husband, but I want to be healthier. I've let myself go. I now weigh 10 pounds more than I did two years ago. You're beautiful, the way you are. You say that because you're my husband. You'll see when you come back. I'll be stunning. Just don't involve my son in your diet. I know he likes to copy you. He's 11, and he would never copy me. You still think he's a toddler. Also, thank you for the card. It really helps. Hey, how are you, Clive? Gordon, buddy, it's been a long time. How's the family? We're well. There's something that I wanted to talk to you about. I know it's most likely not my place, but man to man, I think we need to discuss this. I asked your wife, and she says that nothing's wrong with Corey. What do you mean? What happened to my son? He started to lose weight. That's strange. He's always had an appetite. Your wife says that he just doesn't want to eat these days, because he's picky. It's nothing, probably. Yes, but I, I wanted to let you know. Thank you, Gordon. Can we, uh, video call in the afternoon? Why? I wanted to show you this house I saw. It would be great to maybe rent it out. Or buy if we reach an agreement with the owner. It's perfect, and I think you'll love it. Oh, you call me tomorrow. I have an off day tomorrow. Corey can't join the call. He has hockey practice. Oh, how's the, uh, working out going? I've decided to give it up. Oh, okay. I might have to stay here for two more months. It's not set in stone yet, but it is very much possible. Well, that sucks. How's our son doing? He's good. He's doing extremely well at school. Okay, that's good. Hi, I've just come home early. I wanted to surprise my wife. I'm glad that you're back. Yeah, uh, what would you suggest? There's this bar and grill that I think she'll love. Are you sure she'd like that? Why would you say so? She's always drinking shakes and hasn't been eating proper food. How would you know that? Uh, my wife, Pillow Talk. Also, how's Cory doing? That was a pretty nasty burn. A burn? What do you want about? He got burnt a few days ago. Apparently, it was at school. I know nothing about this. Why did my wife not tell me? She must not have wanted to worry you since you were away. Why are you back early, though? I'm back early because in less than a month, we're moving. I got a job in a different city. It's a wonderful opportunity for us. My wife is okay with it. Her job will allow her to transfer. Well, that's great news. Well, your son is still at the hospital, as far as I know. Which hospital? You know what? I'm about to come back home. I'll pass by her house and take you to the hospital. I can't believe she didn't tell you. I'll have a serious chat with her. There's practically nothing to eat in this house. All I can find are veggies and smoothies. How can she live like this? Does she want to die of hunger? I guess you'll have to ask her. Women can be so strange at times. Tell me about it. So, you're not even going to visit your son? What are you talking about? Stop. Don't act dumb. I know everything. 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Cory looks as thin as a matchstick. What do you think you're doing? I trusted you to take care of my son, but I came back to find him malnourished and with burns. The burns are from school. You're lying. Cory told me everything. He told me that you've been ignoring him and forcing him to eat your rabbit food. It's not rabbit food. It's healthy food. Oh, please, stop lying. I went to the house before coming to the hospital. There was absolutely nothing in the fridge, in the kitchen, etc. And our son told me that you disappeared for three days and left him with ten dollars. Where's the money that I've been sending you? I can't fathom how irresponsible you've been. Our son burned himself while trying to cook food because you weren't there. Uh, allow me to explain? I don't know what Celine told you. Celine? Why would she tell me anything? Our son told me everything, and I had to see it on my own. I can explain. Oh, you better explain. I'm coming home in a few minutes. I want to hear what you have to say for yourself. That could possibly make all of this okay. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Where are you? You didn't have to storm off like that. Oh, really? I didn't have to storm off? Did you or did you not get surgery to lose weight? Is that what you spent the money meant to take care of my son on? You thought I was going to come back late, did you not? What would have happened after I came back? Were you going to pretend as if you didn't abuse our son while I was gone? I did not abuse him. There's nothing wrong with him eating healthier. There's nothing wrong when all there is to eat is celery sticks? Where were you for three days? Where were you? With your boyfriend? Or were you doing whatever procedure it was to lose weight? When did you become so vain? I don't understand you, Beverly. You act as if you've ever understood me. Oh, wow. Stay out since you want to leave me. Maybe I don't need you. Maybe I'm meant for better. Then I'll give you full permission to leave. I'll take care of my son while you figure out your identity crisis. Wow, identity crisis? What should I say it is? You've never worried about your looks, you've never made your child go hungry, but somehow you're not worried that your child has lost so much weight? I thought I'd seen selfish people before, but clearly I didn't see the one in front of me. I was working hard so that we could have a better life, but now I guess I see your true colors. Come back home and we'll discuss this. What will people think? You should have thought about that a long time ago. Hey Clive. Hey Gordon. How's everything? Not good. Your wife and mine fought. Why would they fight? Uh, they're best friends. I've been receiving messages from an unknown number. This person has been making moves on me. We thought it was just a secret admirer, but then today my wife caught your wife sending the messages to me. Damn. So, before she confronted her, I decided to talk to her and ask her if she was responsible. I didn't want their friendship to be affected by false accusations. When you asked her, what did she say? She didn't deny it. She said that she's been waiting for me to notice her. She said that she's been doing her transformation for me. She seemed to think that I like her in that way. What? My wife was within earshot, so as soon as she heard that, she started fighting with her. I managed to separate them, but my wife is pissed off at the moment. My wife was trying to impress you? Yes. How do I know that you weren't into it? Surely you must have seen the signs that she was trying to flirt with you. Even if I saw the signs, it would have been crazy for me to assume that a married woman wants me. You know what? I've just thought about it. Knowing what I know about her, she's capable. Remember that time you told me that my son was losing weight and I thought you were seeing things? Yes. She hasn't been buying food because of her diet. She forced my son to also follow the diet while she used the rest of the money on supplements and from what I found out, a colon cleanse. Oh, and my son didn't get burned at school. He got burned trying to cook because she hadn't been home in three days. No way. I'm honestly horrified, bro. I'm so sorry that we didn't notice anything earlier. Even if you did, I wouldn't have believed you if I didn't see it on my own. I mean... My wife of more than 15 years is someone that I should trust with my whole life. But if she was obsessed with you, then anything's possible. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. Thank you for letting me know. If you need anything, let me know. I don't think this marriage is working. What makes you say that? I know what I did was wrong. My mind wasn't functioning properly. My self-esteem was affected because I was so fat. The doctor told me that I was obese. Imagine that. Stop lying. When I met you, you were around the same size as you are right now. I know that you did all that to try and impress Gordon. 
No, maybe he's the one who's attracted to me. Gordon is happily married to your best friend Celine. How could you do this to her? He told me everything as soon as it happened, so please don't treat me like I was born yesterday. I think that we need to go our separate ways. But I'm only working three days a week. How will I support our son? You think that I would leave you with my son after what you did? You can forget about seeing him. If you try to force it, I'll slap you with so many lawsuits that you'll become dizzy. I need you to vacate my house within a week. I'm selling it. Where will I live? Why are you making your problem my problem? You dug yourself into this hole. I didn't have to help you. You're cruel. I won't let you win. I've already told your family what you did to our son. You're not going to take custody of him, nor are you going to get a single cent from me. Everyone will know who you are. A sad excuse for a mother. Do you know what the word mother is? A mother is someone who is supposed to protect and nurture a child. You're acting as if taking care of him was my responsibility only. You're also his father. As his father, I have the same duty to protect him from the monster that is his mom. Bring it on! I confronted her, kicked her out of my house as well. There's no place in my life for someone like her. Good. She messaged me. I don't even know why she's messaging me when I've blocked her several times. I might be able to use her messages as evidence. Please don't delete them, but I would suggest getting a restraining order against her. I should. This is scary. I've always seen her as my wife's friend and could never see her in that way. I can't imagine how she could go to such extremities. Wow, and I had planned to buy her the dream house that she wanted with my new job. She would have never ever had to work again. I was also thinking of buying her a new car because she complained that hers was having problems. She was so lucky to have you in her life, but she messed it up for me, who will never look at her in that way. She's delusional, I've seen the signs for many years, but I was too blinded by my love for her. Now, all I want is to have her out of my life. I don't even want her to see our son for 10 minutes a day. You'll win the case, my wife and I are here if you need anything. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. It was so easy to prove that she had starved our son and was responsible for his burn injury. Not only did she not get the house, but I don't have to pay her a single cent for alimony. She has to pay child support every single month and can only see our son one weekend per month. I have every right to deny her a visit if I want to. My son and I moved to the town where I got my new job and is very far away from her. I will never trust her ever again.